Hey guys, welcome back to Magic the Gathering Online, uh, Speculation, Economics, and Finance. Today we're going to take a slightly different twist and turn. We're going to talk a little bit of metagame stuff. How would you like to be able to easily identify one of the very best decks in any format without putting a lot of playtesting in, without working very hard, without really killing yourself? Just basically, reasonably quickly and easily identifying a really sweet deck to play in any format. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, let's see what we can do. Now, a lot of players, it's kind of amazing how many people don't know about this. And the people who do know about this, most of them aren't going to tell you about it because it's pretty sweet. And, you know, the less people that know, the less people can take advantage of this. But, you know what, this, this podcast slash YouTube channel uh, slash uh, video blog is all about sharing all kinds of these fun goodies with you. So, anyway, let's go over here and let's just kind of grab one of these leagues at random. Let's go ahead and pick a competitive league so we know we're really getting the good stuff. So let's go check out Competitive Modern. And then over here we're going to sort by Undefeated Trophies. So these are people who have gone undefeated in this league a fair amount. Each one of these Undefeated Trophies signifies a 5-0 finish. And so we've got this Manu... Gonia. So, what we're going to do, first I just want to make sure I get the name right. So I'm just going to pull up this notepad document. I'm going to type the name down. Manu God in EU. So, it really doesn't matter as far as whether we have caps or not, but we'll just go ahead and do that anyway. So now we've got this guy, 15 undefeated trophies. I mean, Whatever he's playing is probably a pretty good deck. Yeah, sometimes better players are going to do, you know, better than, you know, the worst players, obviously. But the deck has a lot to do with it. I mean, I don't care how good of a player you are. If your deck is a pile, you're going to have a hard time. And, I, I mean, as long as you're a reasonably decent player, if you pick up a good deck, you're going to have a huge advantage over people who are just playing some subpar stuff. So, to get this many undefeated trophies, even if this guy's playing all the time, he's still got to be doing something right with his deck selection. So now we're going to go to MTG Goldfish, you know, good place to spend some time when you're trying to figure out what to do. And what we're going to do is we're going to come over here into the advanced search options. And we're going to plug in the name. And we're going to make sure we've got user highlighted. Now what you want to do though is you want to get the date range and make sure you keep this nice and wide open. So I'm going to go back a few months. and you know any formats fine we could narrow this to modern so it looks like it looks like we're not getting anything probably because I put it in the wrong place here so be sure you get this right kinda of walk through some of these kinks just to help some of you avoid making these mistakes you have to put the name in the right place so now we'll run another search and boom here we go so we've got some results and we see blue red gift storm is popping up in May and June and then going back a little bit further we've got burn red green burn and blue red gifts so it looks like this player is mostly playing blue red gifts and we don't have anything super recent it's been about nine days since we got a deck list now there's a few things going on that you have to understand even though we see here 15 undefeated trophies when we come over here we only see six different deck lists that have been posted and we went back to a search looking all the way back to February so what's going on is MTG Goldfish is pulling its information off of the WotC mothership site you know the head official Magic the Gathering website where all the tournament results are logged but not always published for us so you know Wizards of the Coast, they have all the data from all these events that happen online, but they don't give us all the data. They only give us some of the 5-0 deck lists. So what that means is we're not necessarily guaranteed to know all the decks that a player is playing. And so, you know, we could make some incorrect assumptions. But generally, when you use this method and you go onto Magic Online and you identify a player who has a lot of trophies, and then you go to MTG Goldfish, you go into the metagame, go to deck search, advanced options, and you can search for a, a player 
and see what they've at least get some sense of what they've been playing recently and you have to use some educated guessing but it'll get you pointed in the right direction a lot faster than just play testing yourself and it also gets you pointed in the right direction a lot more than just looking at metagame share sometimes. I mean sometimes a top player will be playing the quote unquote best deck or whatever is at the top of the metagame but sometimes you'll find a player who's actually doing very well in a particular meta and they're not necessarily playing uh, what's going to be identified by MTG Goldfish as the top deck and in fact when you look here Blue Red Gift Storm is only 3.25% of the meta and you know there's a whole lot of other decks that have a bigger meta share so I mean your first guess might not be that the 8th deck by MetaShare uh, would be a good option but I mean clearly Manu's doing pretty well with it and it looks like I mean again he could be playing some other things we don't know this for 100% but I'd say based on the data we're looking at it looks like he's you know 80% mostly probably on the deck now let's say that you pull this information and you're like, man, I don't want to play Gift Storm. It's just not my style of deck. I don't like the way it works. And it's just not going to work for me. Or some things are changing in the meta and I think it's bad now. Whatever the case may be. You can just go on down the list. Next you could look up Benny Hills and just go right down the, the list of these players are, you know, topping out with the most trophies in the competitive league. And see what some of these people are playing. And when you find somebody who you know it looks like you see six or seven or eight or ten or however many results and it's mostly the same deck you know okay that's the deck they're on that they're winning with for the most part and then you can go ahead and pick it up and rock and roll and basically do pretty well yourself so you know that's that's my suggestion that's what I would do and um, you know uh, you just gotta feel it out and, and see what you think is gonna work for you but you can use the same methodology and, and go through and find some other decks and I would suggest that you kind of tinker with it and see if you can't find something that's gonna work for you anyway good luck guys uh, hope that helps you out hopefully somebody out there will discover this method and get a sweet deck and start grinding some tickets that they otherwise wouldn't have and uh, hopefully uh, with that big fat stack of tickets you grind out you can also tune into my next show where I can give you some recommendations on where you can put those tickets to use to make even more fat tickets in Magic the Gathering Online uh, Finance, Economics, and Speculation. Peace!